friends um, this session is uh, a quick session uh, not more than 5 minutes we will need really to complete this session so we are uh, going to see about the arm states uh, earlier i taught you about or i discussed about um, the arm modes of operation mode is different from state arm supports three states of operation uh, one is a default arm state and then i introduced you a word called as thumb state and then jessel state so that's what i'm going to talk to you about but in a brief not more than 5 minutes is what i really need all these modes arm thumb jessel uh, all these are the features that are coming out with all these are a support that is coming out really with the arm processor when you buy an arm processor if you see that the name is something like arm 7 tdmi that t shows that it is supporting thumb mode if t is not there there will not be support for thumb mode similarly j should be there in the name itself whenever you are buying so only it supports jessel mode i do not have any experience with respect to jessel mode but i worked in thumb mode as well as in arm mode so how do we uh, switch in this uh, state uh, i use the term state and mode interchangeably but that's not correct actually when you go to interview so uh, stay with the term state uh, this state can be shifted from or can be moved from the thumb state to arm state with cpsr how do we do it sir cpsr has got bits which are representing uh, the thumb mode which are representing the arm mode all those things i will show you that once again we have seen this earlier but i am going to uh, give you a glimpse of it again so if you can see that here i have a bit called t this t bit is the one that is going to help you to set thumb mode if this is zero then you are in the arm mode if it is set to 1 we are in the thumb mode so what will happen when i go into thumb mode it is thumb state it is very simple whenever you are getting from arm state to thumb state you are supposed to use a different set of instruction set arm state has got a default instruction set which is available thumb state has got a different instru- instruction set available jessel state has got a different instruction set available the point here is arm state will support 32 bit operation thumb state will support 16 bit operation jessel state will support java enabled operations that's the reason we call it different states the instruction set itself is totally different and you need to understand that whenever this is a feature that has been given at the arm whenever i want to use the same processor as 32 bit 16 bit and then 8 bit it is not possible with the current setup but arm provides you the support for 32 bit 16 bit and 8 bit so easily and it's definitely versatile now i am going to uh, throw some simple question here uh, that will probably make you understand things better now i have the flag fields available here from cpsr and i have some values enabled here for mode what mode are we in currently that's the question that we need to answer j field is not at all here because i am not efficient or i do not know j field i mean jessel mode operation jessel state operation i am not familiar with so we can ignore it that is totally ignored now what i have here is i have t equal to 0 so it is definitely not thumb state so i i am not in the thumb state now what is the mode here the mode bits are 11 1, 1, 1, 1. now we need to go back to the table that i have presented you in the session 3 uh, where i displayed the uh, set of uh, mode of operation supported and then its binary equivalent system mode is here and it is represented through 11 1, 1, 1. so what do we understand here from this simple uh, given explain given uh, scenario i can tell you that this is called system mode so 11 1, 1, 1, 1 represent system mode so through this operation i can tell that the zero flag is set because of the result of the uh, two arithmetic operation zero flag is set i do not have any other flag set jessel it is not jessel because it is zero here thumb it is not thumb because it is zero here so by default this is in arm state point number 1 point number 2 the mode value is 111111111111 where we can refer it to system mode that's all these kind of questions may come in the interview or or in the exam as well so uh, please be familiar with the uh, table values for the mode and when you see j equal to 0 that is obviously jessel is 0 when you see t equal to 0 that obviously says thumb state is not enabled that's all now what is pipelining and how does it work with them arm supports a three stage pipelining arm 7 which i am talking about what is that uh, it is very simple when i am talking to you about the current uh, title which is being displayed right now in my screen i also have an idea about what i should talk next that is called pipelining why when i am talking about this i should also know what i need to talk next because i cannot waste time in thinking what i should talk next when i complete the current one pipelining enables speedy processing 
uh, it is like a buffet that we really get served when we go to the uh, restaurants i have uh, first table has got idli the second table has got sambar third table has got chutney when the idli is being served you can also get a view of what is next available and you can make up your mind to take it up accordingly that's it so it is called fetch decode and execute when you fetch the first instruction the second stage is decode that will not happen there at that moment third stage is called as execute that will not happen at the moment when you go to the first instruction into the decode stage i will start decoding what that instruction is for example add instruction now the second instruction will be fetched you can see that here uh, this is how it works so stage 1 i am fetching an instruction i have stage 2 nothing happening there i have stage 3 nothing is happening here now cycle 2 i go i have already got this compare instruction i mean the first instruction into decode state where i would have fetched the second instruction first instruction is in the decode stage where second instruction is in the execute stage third stage i do not have anything now the first instruction would have got into the execute stage now in the third cycle where the second instruction would have got in the decode stage and the third instruction newly which i have to fetch would have been fetched already this is called fetch decode and execute why do we need it sir we need this because we need faster processing otherwise it would be very very slow so to avoid the problem of being it slow we pipeline things and this increases the complexity for the architecture nevertheless it's worthy to do it now there are five stage pipelining which is also followed uh, with respect to the computer architecture or with respect to arm uh, the five stage pipelining contents are fetch decode execute buffer and write fetch i told you what is it i'll just fetch the instruction from the memory decode i'll decode the instruction and then i'll understand what that instruction is all about then execute i need to really execute with the alu for example if it is an addition i need to add two numbers i will get the result ready now what is this fourth stage buffer or memory the alu result whatever we are getting from the alu will be buffered for a clock between buffered for a clock cycle for some amount of time which can facilitate rest of the instructions to also get completed in the pipeline i told you we have pipelining which means we'll have lot of instructions being processed in parallel when i got the current result i cannot move out i need to save it for some time so that rest of the instructions can also come hand in hand and the next one is write stage this stage is nothing but i need to get the result return back to the registers load and store architecture so i have it as a stage this is called five stage pipelining there are multiple developments that are happening with respect to pipelining and the stages are actually growing like anything so this is basic we have three stage pipelining we have five stage pipelining if you understand this you can tackle the interview questions as well as your exam questions we will go uh, much deeper about the programming as well as we will go much deeper about how to use the simulator shortly but i have presented you here a, a sample a comparison of arm 7 9 10 and 11 you can see that three stage five stage six stage eight stage pipelinings are supported here and please understand this is not the end of it we have so much happening here in this market and it is really really enormous growth which is happening here thank you very much we will see in the next session shortly thank you